Hi, this is Marcia, and today we're talking about how to increase student achievement and growth. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Today we're going to be talking about how to impact student achievement and growth through a coaching guide that I came up with after visiting a couple middle school and elementary classrooms over the last couple of weeks. So let's just take a look at the coaching guide. Now you can print this out and you can find it on our blog, which is a QR code that's on our screen. But I like to have this for my teachers, give it to them as part of your next coaching cycle or maybe during one of their planning meetings. So the way I broke this up is I just gave just ideas on how to, the top strategies to implement. And all of these strategies can have resources and links found on that activity sheet as well as on our blog post. So incorporating learning studios is definitely going to increase a student achievement and growth because the students are going to be more engaged in the learning. Data-driven environments for sure are going to help our students reach those higher levels. I love adding in collaboration when I'm working and coaching teachers because it does really help those students to really showcase what they've learned. They're applying their skills and those higher order thinking abilities. And then I also love the fact of giving feedback to our students. I think this is really important to actually give instant feedback and it's as simple as posting the answers. And then of course, growth mindset. Sometimes we give the students things that are too challenging, especially our gifted students, and they just give up and quit versus like, hey, try it. Get outside of your comfort zone. You got this. So all of these five things are great things just to remind our teachers of what strategies to implement. Then I took it one step further and I added in a strategy bingo board and I put it into those five different categories of activities to try. And I even included some AI tools in the middle just to kind of enhance that lesson so if a teacher gets stuck like I don't know what to do try out some of those teacher tools that are going to help those teachers to really take it up a notch. I also provided some research links and I think this is important because you know sometimes we just want to get some extra information from other websites and to make sure what we're doing is validated. So gave some extra resource links and then the last thing I did was I gave a strategy timeline for our teachers so that they can actually pick what strategy they want to work on and when they want to deploy it. When we ask our teachers to go outside the comfort zone and try something new, sometimes we just got to give them time to apply. So that's why I came up with this increased student achievement growth guide because it just gives refresher, new ideas, and time for them to actually think and apply and implement something new in their classrooms.